We know over and over again, study after study after study tells us that it's the power of the label that's creating the basis for what we believe. And that's really the basis of my limper because we're now going to not label you as a limper. We're going to label you as better than new. Now we just have to know the rehab to get there. And these power of labels, this is how mind blowing it is. If you don't know how mind blowing this is, quiz me, challenge me, talk to me about the studies when they're double blind, empirical, independent, neither the labeler. So for example, a common one is neither the teacher nor the students know that they've been mislabeled from bright kids to troublemakers. So they take a bright class, they run a six week test, they label them as troublemakers, they take troublemakers and label them as bright kids. Not only, this is why double blind is mind blowing, not only do the kids feel different, not only do teachers treat them differently, the actual test scores they got changed, all based on the power of labels. You've heard of placebos, you know, even in tests where you know you might be taking a placebo, you have anywhere from 20 to 40% success. You know, if you don't know there's placebos, you're just told that's even higher often than 40% because you believe nocebos are just the opposite. You get bad news. That's not true, but if you believe it, so one of my most powerful ones on the nocebo effect is in the late eighties when AIDS was scaring the crap out of everybody back in the day, you may remember a movie was even made. Ryan White was this little 14 year old kid that had it from his mother in a blood, blood transfusion. You know, we didn't know. So when medicine tests your blood, they really make it a very open test because they want to catch a lot, which means they have a lot of false positives because they don't want to tighten the test based on what they don't know and miss somebody. They want to catch every possible. So about 10 years later, when they went back and retested that blood, not only did they go, oh, hey, here's thousands of false positives. You know, let's go tell them so they're not worried anymore. Not only, not only, again, this is mind blowing information if you don't know this, not only did they find over 90% of them had passed away when they looked at the cause of death, they died of AIDS because they were told it and they believe it. This power of labels is incredibly, incredibly powerful.